Life is meaningless without goals. Welcome to Lifeline with Comfort. On today's episode, we are looking at taking action. The difference between a person that would succeed in life and the one that will not depends on action. A lot of us have dreams. Everyone has lofty, you know, ideas and, and goals they might want to pursue. But the ones that are achieving are those that take action. When we return, we'll go dive deep into this topic. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Lifeline with Comfort. Lifeline with Comfort is a program designed to equip, empower, inspire, and motivate you to awaken the giant inside of you. There's something about you and I'm hoping and trusting God that as we continue to bring out some of these vital uh, nuggets, your life will skyrocket from where it is to where it ought to be. Now, life is meaningless without goals. Goals, by definition, is the object of a person's ambition or effort. Our goals give us number one direction and also direction to move towards isn't it and the second thing is an outcome to work for life goals can include raising responsible children having a beautiful career uh, making a difference in our community uh, having you know having a ministry or starting you know a, 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 a family your goals and my goals may differ depending on the face of our lives we have come to but what i want us to know uh, uh, is uh through the book of jeremiah the bible says something uh, to jeremiah uh before i knew i formed you i ordained you a prophet to your nations and so before you can sit down and say these are my goals and this how or this is my vision and this is how i want to achieve it you must understand that god formed you and of course he has a manner to your life and everything. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse number 1 to 3. The Bible said write the vision and make it plain. Particularly uh, every one of us you know wake up or get into the year and say this 2020 this is what I want to achieve. This is what God is saying I should do but the difference between those that will end the year achieving every of these things is what you do. Taking action. We may face a lot of challenges and of course 2020 has been a year that took everyone uh, by surprise. But in the midst of this, a lot of people push through and I tell you in life there will always be challenges. But there's the determination to take action despite what the world is, is, is saying or what's happening around the world or what the enemy is, is saying is a sure guarantee for success in life. Many people have goals. Many people have visions, they have dreams, they have aspirations. I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to start by, by uh, spending more time with God. I want to start praying with my family. I want, you know, a lot of people have goals. But the problem is many people don't take action towards that goal. The book of James chapter 1 verse 23 to 25, the Bible says, But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, be no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, I'll stop there, a doer who acts. Then I'll continue, he said, he will be blessed in his doing. So the blessing comes in your doing, in taking action, in doing what you ought to do. James 2 verse 18 also says something. He said, but someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from works and I will show you my faith by my works. It's very important for us to know that you can't keep shouting and screaming amen if you are not taking action. Jack Canfield said in life, we are not rewarded for what we know, but what we do. Action is more important than knowledge. Some people know a lot, they don't do one thing with what they know. How then do you translate your goals or visions into rewards? You need to understand that for you to move from it is a goal, it is a vision, it is a plan, it's my dream, it's my aspiration, uh, to getting it done, there's a transition there. 
why do I want to pursue this purpose? Is one or goal? Is one of the things you must ask yourself. Why do I want to pursue? Why do I have a YouTube channel? Why did I sing that song? Why did I write that book? Until you're able to answer the why, you will not be able to maximize the reason why you did it. Your action will be slow. You won't be motivated. You won't be inspired. Your why must be tied to a problem. Uh, I often say unto you, your why is tied to, to problem solving. You may hardly achieve maximum success. Jesus had his why. He endured the cross because his why was in view. You and I, the salvation of mankind was in view. So his why kept him going. Even when they wanted to kill him, his why kept him going. Even when he was, you know, he needed some money and there was no money around him and his, his disciple had to go to the mouth of the fish, his why kept him going. When he needed the boat, his why kept him pushing. Your why will keep you and sustain you. The only thing that will help you focus is a constant reminder of your why. Do you, um, do you know that there's, there's a man called Simon Sinak, okay? He said, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Why are you doing what you're doing? Is it, you know, some people want praise singing. I'm not saying get praise singers. But I'm saying, why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you getting married? Is it, is it because they call, there's something they call biological clock? Why are you having kids? Is it because everyone is having kids? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you on Instagram? Why are you on Facebook? Is there a why to whatever you're doing? Once you know your why, you stay motivated. Now, who are you sent with? You see, you must take direct actions but you have to lay your vision down and say why am i doing what i'm doing and who am i sent to who is your target audience if you're in business if you're in ministry whatever it is who am i sent to who is who will be inspired by what i'm doing who, who who you know because the truth is when jesus came he came for the entire humanity and he had his who in view he didn't come for animals i'm sorry if you believe that um animals have a uh, soul and they go through rapture and i'm so sorry i'm going to destroy that ideology because the scripture doesn't record that but the who was humans was human beings and he came and made sure he did justice to the reason why he came to earth the next thing you need to know is who should your companies be you know in order to achieve your goal in life while you're trying to take action you must be sure that your company will help you to pursue your dreams who should your companions be when you're pursuing a dream? Proverbs 13, verse 20, the Bible says, Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffer harm. Who can teach me how to fish and not just give me fish? Those are the questions you must ask yourself. Then you have to know the what. Ask questions like, do I have what it takes to do what I have to do? E.g., if you need ad additional qualification to achieve your dream, then get it. If you need skills, then get it. Uh, when I started, uh, when I decided to start my YouTube channel again, there was something I, I had to do. I had to do a little bit of research. I needed to understand camera use. I needed to understand uh, um, how I wanted my studio to look like. I needed to understand. So I did research. I went on YouTube. I went, you know, so you need to know what you want and go after it. You need to know what it takes to get what you want. Then you need to define your unique selling point. What makes you, you. I tell you, no matter what you do, you are unique. No matter what people say, you are unique. You need to know your unique selling point that's what we call it in marketing then know your how what methods will you use every company every person every organization has methods of reaching their goals you must know your method you must know how you hope to reach your goals a ketra in africa is different from a ketra in united kingdom a ketra in united states of america is different from a ketra in china the the business environment is different so you must understand the the terrain you are you must understand where you are and so that you can achieve your dream understand the market strategy understand operations the end of the story is for you to take actions you need to lay your cards on the table and tell yourself this and this is what i want to achieve and the most important thing you must know is when your when is your action time dr sam amaga said start with what you have start where you are and start now you need to take action a place of taking action is a place where most dreams die i'm hoping that your dream will not die by god's grace a place of action is the best place to differentiate a winner from a loser so people talk 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 
they humbly do. I'm hoping that you will do much more. The yes, any, it doesn't matter. Do. You can still do what you have to do, even though the time is very short. The third thing is, the when determines your win. The when determines your win. The place of taking action is a place where mediocre are easily recognized. You know, you, you easily know a, a, a mediocre because they tell you the same story four years ago and three years later they say the same thing and even now they are saying the same thing. Now, uh, your faith is invalidated when action is not in place. Faith without works is what? Dead. I want you to write it. Faith without works is what? Dead. I wish I can be rich has never made anyone rich. So take action. There's nothing like fake it until you make it. There's nothing like that. You can't fake to be a doctor. You'll be arrested. You cannot fake to be a surgeon. You'll be put in prison. So you can't fake it until you make it. You faith, but then you take action. Someone, I want you to write it on your comment section. What do you think you can do to take action from where you are to where you want to be or where you ought to be? The last thing I'll say is everyone can talk, but not everyone can walk the talk. I'm hoping that this podcast will help you to walk the talk. You're not just going to say your goals or wait for 2021 to start. You act where you are with what you have and start immediately. The difference between the real people that will succeed and those that will not is taking action. I'm praying that you take action and heaven will back you up with favor. Until this time, Next week, God bless you. And please, if you've not subscribed, kindly do that. And lavish me with the shares. Lavish me with your comments. I know this is a community and I want to know you. I want to relate with you. So why not make comments, drop comments. I want to know you. And of course, I'll reply you. God bless you. I'm signing out. Bye.